now it's on Caps and Reckless to provide the damage in this game. But Misfits, they're looking for a little playmaking on the bottom side of the map, and they're going to opt for that Nautilus in the hands of Igno. We actually see this quite often in Europe. Uh, people kind of pick the root collar, clean sidesteps. No Good. flash on Soas, that's already been used. Alfari, if he escapes the next Trigger down. seed, Alfari definitely triggered after that. First blood drop for Fnatic. Misfits. Uh, Soas, what can he do here? Can he fight back? Another fight in the bottle in this Nautilus. He's hyper aggressive. Ansama's here, but Kakao is here again. Jezzes, no summoners. Definitely caught out. Kakao just going to walk this one down, pick it up. Nice kill for Misfits. Good. In goes Daisy, down comes the equalizer, but Alfari, he looks like he's caught between a rock and a hard place because there is no option out, and that's going to be another kill for Soaz. Second time, Broxa pulls off a gang top. Dodging out, sidestep, still caught out. Alfari, he's in trouble. Not a lot left to do, trying desperately to find the 2v1, but it's the trigger seat, it's the belly bop, it's everything <laughs> on the side of Fnatic, and that's the killing spree for Soaz. Alfari Soaz's. is definitely triggered right now, overextending every time he even dares to push a lane. Roxa, surprise delivery of the jungler. Now moving forward, Friar's Bloom is there, but where is the Blast Cone? Can POE take it to safety? Looks like the answer is yes, but there's Caps over the wall. Oh! Can he get it? Oh! He was spotted oh! on the board! Deep vision from Minion. Is he going to leap back? He needs just one tower Where are you going, Power? Or Minions. Minions. Jump to the tower. Buying as much time as he can. Oh! oh! Gives it over to Broxa in the end. So close. What a beautiful play from Power to spite that. With the arrows. Yeah, always push your mid lane first. That is a standard play. See, they're gonna get for mid lane tower to get caps. Forward, caps redemption's already down, but that's a lot of damage. He's gonna go down. Power's gonna grab the kill in the end. Tower redemption once again. In comes Daisy trying to block the damage, but down goes the equalizer. Soaz is all alone on the backside. He may just be the sacrificial lamb. Ignar going to drop. Soaz, can he make it to safety? So many shields coming out. He's still alive. Misfits are the one who lose the trade. Back in goes Caps, lock up onto Ignar, Reckless goes forward, but down comes the Equalizer, can Misfits turn this back, Ignar healed up, but in comes the Redemption, Fnatic are looking good, but Kakao, he's trying to dish out the damage and things are just falling apart. Yeah, they're falling apart because Afari may go down as well. Reckless gets another one, so as tanks to the tower and Fnatic are in control. Taking it down here so the Misfits have some time, but can they reach enough members? Make it there. It's also in the bush, which is really annoying. Ticking down, 2K, Kakao looking for a way over the wall, moves forward. Not gonna get it in the end. Outsmited by Broxa as Fnatic take the first Baron of the game. Close in the end. Got a single super minion poking away at the tower, but Soaz wants to keep the fight going. Ignar once again oversteps and will get taken down. Reckless on a killing spree. Fnatic with their sights on that tier two. And that's the kind of fight you're looking for. Some Soaz early on. The snowball goes in again. Soaz now Reckless. Forward. Reckless on the way in. It comes the Realm Warp on the backside. Surprise. It's Caps. It's Daisy. And it's a death for Hansama. No. Looking to turn it back. Hansama pulling out. Will make it out to safety. And Caps will be the one who drops. But Fnatic, they're still in the driver's seat. And a huge showing of confidence for PoE to blind pick the local. Oh, hello, but it Soaz. hasn't worked out. Soaz, though, trying to start a fight. Hansama, no luxury to flash this time. He's going to drop to Reckless. Ignar's moving forward. Ignar is in trouble. Yeah, if you walk into a frozen mallet 80 carry, you're not going to escape. Yeah, no chance, but power of evil. He looks to turn it back. Still exhausted, however, means no path out quite yet. Moving for more. Caps flashes forward. Power of evil is in trouble. Down he goes. Rise takes that one in the end. And Caps, he's hungry for more. Out comes the trigger seed. Shields him up. Ignar, the shield half powers him up. But it's not enough. It's the double kill for Caps and Fnatic own the base. Kakao is trying to kill the wave here to stop Fnatic from actually finishing the game. Wait, no, 10 seconds maybe. Thank you. Slowly, slowly, play with him. Oh. Uh, down in the end, the slow but sure demise of Kakao. And as you said, 40 seconds, 48 in fact. Always beautiful. Let's oh, see checking it online. They're trying to get under the Reckless, but there's too many shields. He's still alive. He's still up. He's still okay. Reckless, no! he won't die. Down goes the LeBlanc. So many people dropping in the face of Reckless, and that's the triple. Fnatic, they have the Baron setup. They force the Misfits to go for a Reckless fight because what will they do against the Baron setup 4v5? They couldn't do absolutely anything. And they win that fight and it all gets worse when Reckless drops to 5% and he still lives. Slow and steady walk towards the Nexus. Everyone knows that Fnatic, they're going to push all the way in and win the game. Quite a walk though. Quite a walk, but one of confidence, reckless. Everything focused on him at the Karma, at the Ivern, got to come online, keep him up and healthy. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We were looking for first blood in the series, and it's going to be Fnatic who make their mark on the opposition and Misfits who fall down as Soaz has a bit of fun with it, and the game closes. And I think this was in many ways like a, a very standard like game one where it was a little bit slower than maybe expected because you're not